you just had a colleague send you a job posting that you're a perfect fit for and you agree and you want to apply. Problem? Today's Monday, it's due on Thursday. And you're like, oh my goodness, how do I have time to do that? You can nail it. These are your three priorities. Number one, the application. Number two, interview prep. Number three, networking. Let's break them all apart so that way you can nail this process and you can be a competitor for this position. Okay, first, application. Take that advertisement, take it apart in two ways. First, what are the requirements? What do they need? Application, resume, cover letter, letters of recommendation, references, licensing, credentials. Break it apart. What do I have to submit? And make sure you know what each of them are. Identify the long lead items. A letter of recommendation is a long lead item. You need to let someone know that you want them to write a letter of rec for you, and here's their timeline. Make sure you know that that way there's no holes in your application, right? Second way you break it apart. Knowledge, skills, abilities. Here are the requirements for this position. Education, experience, credentials, time. Break it apart. I recommend you write this down. Here's how I'll fit for each one of these. Here's the gaps. So that way when you start writing your cover letter, writing your resume, getting ready for interviews, you know what those gaps are and you're, you've already thought them through. So break it apart, write those down where you're a fit, where there's a gap. All right, so now you've done some thinking. Time to write your resume. 90% of the time, I'm gonna recommend a functional resume where your skills are up front, not just the chronology, and the chronology is next. Folks are gonna hire you for your skills, not for your skills and capabilities, not for your chronology. So pull all that up front. Leadership, business development, sales, market, whatever it is, show those skills up front, how you have those skills, where they came from, and then show the chronology. You're gonna get hired for your skills. Next, I recommend you have a professional resume reviewer review your resume. Might be the best $200 you ever spent. Look at it very critically, unbiased, give you some very good feedback to show you, hey, this is where you're competitive, these folks are really well-versed in resumes in the corporate world, and they can really, really help you out. You want to love what you do? You want to, be, want to be a competitor? Get some professional help to help you with that. All right, ready to hit submit? Not so fast. Update your LinkedIn. Make sure your LinkedIn is updated and ready to go and is reflective of your resume. Hit submit, off it goes. Thank goodness. Glad that's done. Purpose of the whole application process is to get you to the interview. Now, let's start getting ready for the interview. In getting ready for the interview, think about doing these couple things. One, analyze the position again. Analyze the organization, their mission, vision, values. Break them apart, understand their definitions, and map how you're a fit. This is how I'm a fit. Here's, how I just, here's examples of how I display them so you can show how you are a fit for that organization. Mission, vision, values are important parts of the organization, and you want to ensure you're a fit. That should be an important part to make sure you're a fit. All right, you've done that. Next, I recommend five stories, five three-minute stories based on the STAR format that demonstrate and show your capabilities of how you're a fit for this organization, how you have the skills and capabilities to fill this position. Not familiar with the STAR format? It is S. T-A-R, situation, task, action, results. Hey Gary, tell me about a time where you were challenged with, oh, here's a story about, here's a situation, here's a task I had, here's the action I took, here are my results. Build five of those stories that are very versatile, that you can use in a number of different situations, so that way you can demonstrate your capability. Next, Google, Google the top 10, 25, 50, Top interview questions. You're gonna be asked some of them. Tell me a little bit about yourself. Tell me about a time. Tell them they're there, practice them. And with your star stories and with these, you don't wanna be scripted. You wanna be able to have a conversation, but you wanna have gone through a number of these conversations so that way you can get a really good feel and get a really good comfort level for doing this. We don't interview every day. This is gonna give you the opportunity to get comfortable. All right, last, network. And you can network along the way here, if it, if priority three networking helps support the application, then do it, all right? So networking. Networking is to help you build your base of information about this position. You wanna network in the organization so someone 
You can say, I've submitted my application. Oh, you have, really. I know the hiring manager for there. Let me move it up. So you want to do those kind of network in the organization, network in the department, network in the company, network in the industry, network with people who have a similar position in another company or another organization, all to build your overall knowledge about your capability for this position, all to give you a comfort level. So there you go. Short timeline, no problem. Follow these priorities, work hard on them, and you're going to be a competitor for any position. Like, like this, follow me, subscribe to my YouTube page. I, better yet, I'd welcome a conversation to help you go through one of these career transition processes. Thanks for listening.